So today, guys, I have for you a Dollar Tree haul, and I cannot wait to share what I found. I hope that you're doing well. Um, all is okay, finally, in my neck of the woods. I've had a little bit of drama over the weekend. I sadly came down with a horrendous stomach bug. Let me tell you, absolutely no fun. The only good that came out of it was that I lost a couple of pounds, but I definitely have been been suffering from FOMO, fear of missing out all the treasure at the Dollar Tree. But I had made a trip there on Thursday and Friday, and in fact, yesterday I shared the walkthrough with you from uh, Friday. So now I get to finally share the treasure that I picked up. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome back, guys. So if a Dollar Tree haul is up your alley too, I hope you'll stick around and join me. We'll jump right in. What do you say? Let's go. item that I want to share with you all is a brand new find for me. It's by Hard Candy and it is called Fox in a Box. Girl Boss Baked Highlighter. So that's a product that I have never tried or found in my Dollar Tree before. Now it has this little scratch off uh, like scent release here and it says that it smells like vanilla frosting. So I am getting a little whiff of vanilla frosting, so I guess the idea is that the highlighter is going to smell like a vanilla frosting. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I used to have this awesome body spray um, by Bath and Body Works in my younger years that smelled like vanilla caramel. And I gotta tell you, I had to stop like wearing it because I was getting, I don't know, some like um odd things going on like random strangers like sniffing me that was getting a little too uncomfortable so I am not sure that I want candy products on me again. All right now this next item I picked up I was really excited to find these and it is the gift bag. I call this little guy Baby Yoda. I don't know if he has a more official title. It has the Star Wars logo there. Look at the sides. I really like how the side is decorated. It does have, of course, the little gift tag there. Uh, this is unique. So it is a green briar product, it says, so that is really cool. And you may be remember that I had showed you, oh, a week or two ago, that I had also found the uh, Star Wars, the Mandalorian reusable gift bags. So I was really happy to then find the paper gift bag, too, because my grandson absolutely loves this little guy here, so I'm going to sock this away for his birthday. All right, these next items I was so excited to find because let me tell you, when it comes to the books at my Dollar Tree, it's either empty like the Sahara Desert or it is like the most lush tropical rainforest just filled with beauty. And when I was there on Friday, it was filled with beauty. Look at this gorgeous book, Heart of a Mother. It has this nice like cushy, uh, just beautiful binding and cover on it. And then inside it has all of these flowers and uh so like look at i've got to show you this a little bit better this one says light and it's a daisy and so then it has a quote from f scott fitzgerald talking about a mother and then here mums express inner beauty so it's just all these gorgeous florals and bits of poetry just an absolutely beautiful book. I tried to lift up this sticker on the back to see if I could get a retail price and um, I couldn't. 
Oh, in fact, so this slides off the back there, so you can see the book itself is just, I'm telling you, a piece of art. I cannot see what the original retail price on this would have been, but that's neither here nor there regardless because I just love this, and I think what a beautiful gift this would make. Um, for a friend uh, or somebody for Mother's Day, but I was just so pleased to find this one. And then not only did I find that, but look at this. I am grateful. This is another adorable little book, and it's all the good times I want to thank you for. For instance, thanks for being there when I could barley think straight. You are the one I turn up to in times of need. You are as salad as a rock. So my husband loves to grow things, vegetables. So I just thought he would get a real kick out of this book. And I'm going to put it away for his uh, birthday in the spring. But I thought it was an awesome little find. And then the last book I grabbed on this trip is this novel, The Mandela Plot. It's a novel by Kenneth Bonert. Again, I don't know what the original price was. It has this big sticker on the back. Uh, but I thought it sounded like a subject that something Bill would be interested in reading. And for $1.25, I definitely was going to pick it up and let him give it a try. And speaking of giving something a try, now these guys, I can tell you, I know already that I do not like them. But my husband, Bill, happens to be a huge fan of these. And they are the Bunny Chicks and Eggs Candy. Now these are like those circus peanuts, if any of you are familiar with those. It's kind of like that weird hard marshmallow. I honestly don't even know how to describe the taste of them. The company is Spangler. They're made in the USA. You get four ounces of these. And um, to me, they are just a very nostalgic, traditional Easter basket candy. It was something in my household that the Easter Bunny always brought myself and my siblings in our baskets. Um, and it would be that one piece of candy that I could leave behind and never eat. And so that's saying a lot because I have a huge sweet tooth. But I know that Bill happens to love these, so I picked them up for him. Now, what I happen to love and grabbed for myself is Junior Mints. But not only are they just Junior Mints, they are the Junior Mint Eggs. So, you know, just something fun and different for Easter. It is the traditional... Uh, chocolate junior mint so with the peppermint cream in the center but then they put color coating on the outside with um, kind of like almost little crunchy speckles to it so I really enjoy these again 3.5 ounces um, full disclosure I am not really sure if a dollar 25 is the greatest deal for this Perhaps you could still find it elsewhere for 98 cents or a dollar, and that would be better. But alas, I was at the Dollar Tree because I'm pretty much always at the Dollar Tree. I saw them. I was easily tempted, so in my bag they went. And this next item, I don't need this for a while, but I thought, you know what? I see it. I'm going to grab it because one of my special grands is having a birthday before too long, and this is the magic number of his birthday. Oh man, how time is flying. I just cannot get over it. But I got to tell you, I love these foil balloons. It's 14 inches big. All you have to do is blow it up with air so um, you don't need helium I just blow it up with air and I tie it up with a string or I put them on sticks to make like a little wand that the kids can run around with and these things are great 
and I got to tell you, they're sturdy. Like there's no popping, there's no deflating. We've had these things hanging around for weeks after a birthday. So I wanted to make sure, since it's become a family tradition, that I use a number for the grand's birthdays that I made sure that I had his next birthday in my birthday storage bin and this is the little straw you can see there on the back that you blow it up with and then it just like self seals like a sticker so super easy to use and um, huge bang I was gonna say for the buck but now it's huge bang for the dollar twenty five in my eyes still a great deal and then I believe I showed you guys in the walkthrough that they were fully stocked with brand new scents of some of my favorite product by Glade. I was so happy. Limited edition Cotton Cloud Dream. And then this one is limited edition Stay Cool Watermelon. So this one here says it has hints of watermelon and seltzer. Like how incredible does that sound? And this one has notes of airy clouds and cotton. So they both sound supreme. And I use plenty of air freshener in this house with my plus three and everything else that's going going on. So I was really happy to find some new scents back in stock. So I got to tell you guys, my stamina is still not up to par. Um, so I am going to cut this video here. I have more treasure to share with you all, but I will bring that to you very shortly. And yes, I definitely have more viewer friend photos that I want to share here. This project is open to everybody. All you have to do is email me some photos. I will include my email here and then I can share your photos with all of us. And as always, guys, remember, until next time, please be well.